Pega is a one of the leading software platforms which provided a systematic approach to build and deploy process-oriented and rule-based solution and applications. Business process management, customer relationship management, decision management and case management solutions are some of the examples where process and rules are integral part of application development. Introduction to Pega PRPC Pega PRPC is a popular rules engine and BPM tool from Pega Systems that is gaining good market share among large corporations. Architects and developers build the Pega PRPC instance while administrators and even select business analysts have the option of changing workflow rules during runtime. In fact, their motto itself is build for change. The goal is to eliminate software coding and automate manual work to the minimum and build complex systems at the enterprise level with features right out of the box. That's how it works in the utopia world. But in the real world, you need good developer support. So the lesser the code, the closer you are to the goal of a true BPM tool. Software coding might be reduced drastically. But you still need people with a development background using inputs from business analysts to make changes or add functionality. Pega PRPC is pretty expensive so they primarily target any corporation that can afford such a luxury. What is Pega? Pega is a business process management. BPM, tool which was established by Pega Systems. Pega is developed on Java and uses Zoop and Java concepts. It is a platform which provided a systematic approach to build and deploy process-oriented and rule-based solution and applications. And the big advantage don't have to build the system from the scratch like any conventional programming. It is becoming popular because of that, though most conventional programmers would disagree. And also because of it is agile way, flexibility, and being extensible. Advantages of Pega The features of this tool for addressing business application is very friendly. In contrast to convectional BPM tools, there is very less complex, technical syntax to manage the modeling processes and barely any hard-coded programming. I expert business user can be trusted to generate a business application from this Pega BPM tool if desired. This Pega BPM software suite has feature called Case Life Cycle Management which permits any business user to capture and process the flow of in their operations, be it document handling, approvals, decision making, etc. All these tasks can be built into a process flow to automate as much as possible. The most interesting part about Pega's BPM suite is its design once, deploy anywhere user interface. This saves a lot of time and a lot of effort is. And there is the capability to hook in business data and also tap on big data to get better decision making in any process flow. Other advantages include customizability, very less coding, adaptability to future needs and quick developments. Elements. W. Hat is Pega slash PRPC? Pega slash PRPC, Pega Rules Process Commander, is a software product created, licensed, and marketed by Pega Systems Incorporated, PEGA. PRPC is the core component of Pega Systems' smart BPM suit of BPM business process management, solutions. PRPC comes essentially as two discrete entities. Pega Rules, core Java-based slash object-oriented rules engine. Process Commander, layers of pre-configured rules that provide a solid foundation on which to perform development and customization. Incorporating both of the following components, PRPC addresses simple to complex business challenges. BPM procedural processing through a user interactive BPM slash BPMS, BPM suite, Thule. BRE declarative on change processing through an event-driven tool. Types of integrations in Pega PRPC. Process Commander offers many approaches, technologies, and facilities collectively known as integration. They include Connector Service Internally, these facilities are in the Pega and TES VCS rule set. What are the different layers in architecture? A robust class structure is the foundation of reuse throughout our application. The PRPC recommended class structure design pattern offers flexibility in our design and provides for more levels of reuse. There are four distinct layers in the PRPC best practice class structure design pattern. PRPC shared product, the PRPC shared product represents the out of the box process commander classes such as work, work object, work folder, work cover, and data. Enterprise shared product layer. The Enterprise Shared Product layer is a library of extensions to the PRPC base functionality. You should always include this layer. It is rare, but this layer may be omitted in some very small one-off applications. 
Generalized Application Layer The generalized application layer represents a generic base application to use as a framework for application instances. Here we will define most of the rules for our base application. Organizational and Specialized Application Layer The organizational and specialized application layer represents an organizational application instance. Here we will be implementing the generic application. Why Pega use? Why not Java? PRPC is a Java server application. PRPC provides the run anywhere, inheritance, memory management, multi-threading, scalability, and encapsulation benefits of Java to business rules and business process management (BPM) applications. Integrating PRPC with Java EE and DJB applications, JMS, SOAP slash XML, and other new technologies is simpler because of its Java foundation. To create a PRPC application, a set of rules grouped into one or a few rule sets. Business analysts and other developers create an update form rather than writing Java source code. This approach improves developer productivity, program modularity, and maintainability. Using rule forms enables less technical people to work with familiar objects rather than learn a new language or syntax. When PRPC accesses rules to execute them, it assembles executable Java code. What are the types of classes? A class is an instance of the rule abj class rule type. There are two types of classes. Abstract class is a rule, an instance of the rule abj class class, created to support the definition of rules, including other classes. Such rules can be inherited by subclasses of the abstract class. Rules with a class as a key part, such as properties, activities, flows, models, and so on, can apply to an abstract class. A concrete class can have instances stored in the database. An abstract class cannot have any instances. What are the superclasses present in Pega Immediate to it Basic class? There are 12 top level classes which are Immediate to it Basic class. They are Assign, Code, Data, Embed, Hister, Index, Link, Log, Pega, Rule, System, Work. What is the difference between work and data classes? Work Base class, one of 13 standard top level abstract classes, is a superclass to all the classes that define work objects. A work object is the fundamental unit that records processed work in an application. Database class is an abstract class above various class that contain static data and cumulative data. For example, the data admin classes contain information created by your process commander developers defining who can use the application, their privileges and security, and where they belong in the organization. Name some of methods in Pega. By using OBJ methods, we can fetch the data into internal database. OBJ open. By using OBJ open method, we can fetch single record from the database by passing primary key value. OBJ save. By using OBJ save method, we can save the data into database table. OBJ browse. By using OBJ browse method, we can fetch multiple records from the database table. OBJ delete. By using OBJ delete method, we can delete into class insistence in a database table. What is the difference between objopen and objopen by handle? Objopen opens the work object using keys x, pyid. Both the methods return single instances from database. Objopen by handle, it is used to we have the handle to open the object that is pz and ski this method will open only one record at a time. How to import rules using psinski? Open the rule, from that pick the psinski, go to prdbutyl and using the psinski export the rule import that zip file where you want. What is the difference between forward chaining and backward chaining? Ng? Forward chaining, forward chaining is an internal mechanism that provides the automatic propagation of changes in one property value to changes in other property values. Backward chaining, PRPC allows a computation to advance even when the value of an input or parameter property is not of a difference between PEGA data and PEGA rules DB. PEGA data, PEGA data is the database that contains the data, instances of work base class. PEGA data is used to store data and work instances. Pega Rules DB, the database that contains the rules, all the instances of concrete classes derived from the rule base class, is known as the Pega Rules database. Difference between OBJ methods and RDB methods? OBJ methods, at runtime, 5 methods, obj browse, obj filter, obj list, obj list view, and RDB list, list view rules, and summary view rules use a page of the class code Pega list class as a source of search criteria and to hold output. Typically, such pages are named results, pi query result page, 
or Pi View lookup list. Search results, which support rows of report output, are stored as pages in the PX results property, a page list. Code PegaList is a concrete class. Pages of this class exist only on the clipboard. They are never saved to the Pega rules database. RDB methods use connect SQL rules and RDB methods only with an external database. Do not use connect SQL rules or RDB methods for the Pega rules databases. Because not all properties in the Pega rules databases are distinct database columns, use the abjopen and abjsave methods, not the RDB methods, with the Pega rules database to prevent loss of data. What are different types of abj methods? ObjList method. ObjList method is used to retrieve data to the clipboard as an array of embedded pages. This method creates one embedded page for each instance retrieved. The ObjList view method often produce more efficient SQL statements and provide better performance than the ObjList method. ObjBrowse method is used to search instances of one class and copy the entire instances, or specified properties, to the clipboard as an array of embedded pages. ObjList view method. ObjList view method is used to execute the retrieval and sorting operations, but not the formatting and display processing, of a list view rule. The system uses rule resolution to find the list view rule and executes it, but does not produce any HTML output display. ObjOpen method. ObjOpen method is used to open an instance stored in the Pega rules database or in an external database linked to an external class, and save it as a clipboard page. ObjOpen by handle method. Use the abjopen by handle method only if we can determine the unique handle that permanently identifies which instance to open. Otherwise, use the abjopen method. Abjdelete method. Abjdelete method is used to delete a database instance corresponding to a clipboard page and optionally to delete the clipboard page too. We can cause the deletion to occur immediately, or until execution of a commit method. The abjdelete method uses the class of the page to obtain the appropriate rule abj class instance. It uses the table name, key fields, and other aspects of the class rule to mark the instance for deletion. Abjsave method, abjsave method is used to save a clipboard page to the Pega rules. Database or if the page belongs to an external class save a clipboard page to an external database. Commit method, commit method is used to commit all unges. This method writes all the instances specified by one or more earlier abjsave methods to the Pega rules database, for internal classes, and to external databases for external classes. ObjValidate method, ObjValidate method is used to apply a validate rule, rule ObjValidate rule type, for the object identified on the primary page or step page. A validate rule, rule ObjValidate rule type, can call edit validate rules, rule edit validate rule type. ObjSort method, ObjSort method is used to sort the clipboard pages that are the values of a property of mode page list. What are the different types of RDB methods? RDB list method, RDB list method is used to retrieve rows from an external relational database and place the results as embedded pages in a specified step page of class code peg list. RDB open method, RDB open method is used to retrieve a single row, record, of data from an external relational database and add the retrieved data into a specified clipboard page as property names and values. RDB save method, RDB save method is used to save the contents of a clipboard page into a row of a relational database. The system saves the properties on the specified step page to the specified table in the database. This method operates in conjunction with a connect SQL rule that contains SQL statements such as insert, update, and create statements on the save tab. RDB delete method. RDB delete method is used to delete a row or rows from an external relational database using SQL. This method operates in conjunction with an SQL statement in the delete tab of a connect SQL rule, rule connect SQL rule type, that contains the delete truncate or drop SQL statement. What is the difference between page validate and property validate methods? Page validate method is used to validate all the properties present on a page. If a page has embedded pages, this method works recursively to validate all the properties. This method consumes a lot of system resources and takes more time. If you want to validate specific properties use abj validate method with rule abj validate rule. Property validate method is used to impose restrictions on a property value. Use edit validate rule along with property validate method to impose restrictions. You can validate multiple properties using property validate method. What is the difference between worklist and work basket? Worklist, worklist contains the tasks assigned to the individual person. Work basket, work basket will contain the tasks assigned to the group of individuals in the project. 
Difference between screen flow and subflow? Screen flow, we can traverse back. Best example for screen flow is filling the application form which consists of several pages, each page is dependent on the other pages. If a user is in sixth page and would like traverse to three page it is done using screen flows. Through screen flows we collect all information and this collected information is given to work object finally. Subflow, it is to reduce complexity, here we can't traverse back. Like share and comment. Don't forget to click the subscribe button. Click the bell button for latest updates.